Nagaland's tally of COVID-19 cases crossed the 200 mark with three new fresh cases reported from Kohima and Dimapur. State's Health and Family Welfare Minister says the new cases are from the 275 samples that were tested. Two cases are reported from Kohima Quarantine Center and one from Dimapur Quarantine Center. Prime Minister launches a massive rural public works scheme Karib Kalyan Rozga Abiyan to empower and provide livelihood opportunities to the returning migrant workers and rural citizens. Focus to be on creating infrastructure in the rural regions of the country with a resource envelope of Rs 50,000 crore. And India sees another record spike of 14,516 new COVID-19 cases in a single day, pushing the tally to 3,95,048, while the death toll rise to 12,948. 2,13,830 patients are cured so far, and active cases stand at 1,68,269. We are back at this time once again. Well, hello viewers. Welcome to News and Trends and you're watching the daily news broadcast that's coming to you from our studios here in Nagaland. Let's take a look at our top story. Nagaland's tally of COVID-19 cases crossed the 200 mark today with three new positive cases reported from Kohima and Dimapur. Informing this in a tweet this morning, State's Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangi Pong said that the new cases were from 275 samples that were tested. Two cases were reported from Kohima Quarantine Center and one from Dimapur Quarantine Center. In another tweet this afternoon, the minister informed that 13 more patients have tested negative of COVID-19 in their second test, 11 from Dimapur and two from Kohima. With the addition of these new cases and 13 recoveries, Nagaland's tally of COVID-19 cases now stand at 201 including 63 active cases and 138 cured and discharged patients. No deaths have been reported in the state so far. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today launched a massive rural public works scheme, Garib Kalyan Rozgar Abhiyan, to empower and provide livelihood opportunities to the returning migrant workers and rural citizens. The Prime Minister launched this Abhiyan through video conference. The Abhiyan was launched from village Telihar block Beldaur of Khagaria district of Bihar. The villages across 116 districts in the six states joined this program through the common service centers and Krishi Vigyan Kendras. This campaign of 125 days, which will work in mission mode, will involve intensified and focused implementation of 25 different types of works to provide employment to the migrant workers. Focus will be on creating infrastructure in the rural regions of the country with a resource envelope of Rs 50,000 crore. A total of 116 districts with more than 25,000 returning migrant workers across six states Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Jharkhand and Odisha have been chosen for this campaign which includes 27 aspirational districts. These districts estimated to cover about two-thirds of such migrant workers. The Abhiyan will be a coordinated effort between 12 different ministries, departments, namely Rural Development, Panchayati Raj, Road Transport and Highways, Mines, Drinking Water and Sanitation, Environment, Railways, Petroleum and Natural Gas, New and Renewable Energy, Border Roads, Telecom and Agriculture. India today saw another record spike of 14,516 new COVID-19 cases in a single day, pushing the tally to 3,95,048, while the death toll rose to 12,948, with 375 new fatalities, according to the Union Health Ministry data. The number of recoveries continue to surge with 2,13,830 patients recured so far, while there are 1,68,269 active cases according to the updated official figures at, at 8 a.m. Thus, around 54.12% of the patients have recovered so far, an official said. 
The country has witnessed a surge of over 2 lakh infections from June 1 till 20 with Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh among the top 5 states that have seen a sharp rise in COVID-19 cases. India is the fourth worst hit nation hit by the pandemic after the United States, Brazil and Russia. According to the John Hopkins University, which has been compiling COVID-19 data from all over the world, India is at the eighth position in terms of death toll. Maharashtra has reported the maximum number of cases at 1,24,331, followed by Tamil Nadu at 54,449, Delhi at 53,116, and Gujarat at 26,141, according to the Health Ministry's data. In the Northeast, Assam has reported 4,904 cases of the pathogen. A total of 1,178 cases have been reported from Tripura. Manipur has 681 COVID-19 cases. Mizoram has 130. Anachal Pradesh has 103. Meghalaya has 44. And Sikkim has reported 70 cases till now. The center has written to the states to follow the guidelines for effective home isolation. The health ministry had issued revised guidelines regarding home isolation on the 10th of last month. The ministry said as per the guidelines, very mild and pre-symptomatic COVID-19 patients can opt for home isolation provided the patient has a room to himself or herself with toilet facility and has an adult attendant or caregiver. Also, the patients shall agree to monitor his or her health and regularly inform the health status to the district surveillance officer for further follow-up by the surveillance teams. The minister said an important clause of the revised guidelines is that the treating doctor is satisfied with the patient opting for home isolation based on medical assessment and assessment of his or her residential accommodation. In addition, the patient will fill in an undertaking on self-isolation and shall follow home quarantine guidelines. The ministry said that all such cases of home isolation will also be further monitored by teams of well-oriented doctors on a regular basis. Their discharge should follow the required guidelines and should be reported as per norms. The ministry said some instances have been noticed wherein home isolation is allowed in a routine manner in certain states and clauses of the revised guidelines are not being followed in letter and spirit. It urged the states to ensure strict implementation of the guidelines on home isolation at the field level to effectively curb spread of COVID-19 pandemic. The total number of global coronavirus has increased to 86,56,037, while the death toll has reached 4,59,000 849 according to the John Hopkins University, with 22,20,961 confirmed cases and 1,19,112 deaths, the US currently accounts for the highest number of infections and fatalities in the world. In terms of cases, Brazil comes in the second place with 10,32,913 infections. This was followed by Russia with 5,68,292. India with 3,95,048 and the United Kingdom with 3,3285. Regarding fatalities, Brazil comes in the second position after the US with 48,954 COVID-19 deaths. Act of Kindness, an NGO based at Dimapur, donated washable masks to the Chief Medical Officer, CMO Office Dimapur today. According to DPRO Dimapur, the CMO Dimapur, Dr. Tia Senap, thanked the NGO for the kind gesture and also advised them for also donating in the quarantine centers to the brothers and sisters. The Act of Kindness officials said that they would definitely visit the quarantine centers. Deputy CMO Dr. Antoli Su said the medical staffs under CMO who are rendering selfless service in the fight against COVID-19 needs to be given masks every day and therefore the washable ma cotton masks donated by Act of Kindness would be of great help. Your brothers and sisters or people are all there in the quarantine, different quarantine centers. 
We are trying our best to give much to them. Whatever comes to our office, we are trying to give it. Okay. Na parede mohabe. So don't be scared. Yeah. Because see, suppose you go to a hotel, say a tea feature, there'll be around forty of them. But don't think that all forty are positive. No, they are all our brothers and they are all negative. No, take it positive. So at least go to the hotel and say that from act of kindness. How many of you are forty? Okay, act of kindness for this day. It too will go a long way. You're giving me again. This will go to them. Okay. But we acknowledge that you are taking us as the middle person, middle man. The direct Chinese now, they can quarantine some of them. See who is not wearing, but if we give them, then they realize, oh, they are educating us, and give them a lecture. It's a pretty sabito. That's my suggestion. According to the Department of Health and Family Welfare, out of the total of 63 active cases in the state, 17 persons are at District Hospital Dimapur. 16 patients are presently undergoing treatment at Kohima. 23 are admitted in Mon District Hospital. Six patients are at Perin, and one at Twensang. All 63 positive cases are asymptomatic. A total of 112 persons have recovered from Dimapur, 19 from Kohima. Two from Perin and five from Twensang. With this, the latest figures for recovered patients stand at 138. The district-wise distribution of cases by domicile district are Kohima 11, Dimapur 30, Mokokchung 0, Thek 1, Zanapoto 1, Twensang 11, Mon 48, Waka 8, Kifri 4, Longland 0, Perin 84, and three others. Deputy Commissioner Twain Sang Kumar Ramnikant has stated that some wards and sectors are not allowing frontline workers to enter the wards or sectors despite completion of seven days mandatory quarantine period after performing their rooster duties and on testing negative for COVID-19. Therefore, all wards and sectors have been directed to allow unhindered passage to frontline workers who have completed seven days mandatory quarantine period and tested negative for COVID-19. According to DIPR, self-styled regulations by the wards and sectors is causing inconveniences and hampering the work of frontline workers in the collective fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The failure to comply with this order shall invite strict legal actions as per the provisions of the law. Deputy Commissioner Dimapur Anup Kimchi has informed that the beneficiaries under Atma Nirbhar Bharat scheme to collect the ration of 5 kgs of rice per person per month for 2 months May and June from the respective fair price shops from Monday. The scheme is basically for migrant workers which was launched by Deputy Commissioner Dimapur Anup Kimchi on 18th June at Burma Camp Dimapur. ADS Dimapur S Kavito Aomi informed that the scheme would cover 48,299 beneficiaries covering 8,967 households. According to DIPR, those who do not have ration card and are not covered by the NFSA are entitled for the scheme on producing either other card or driving license, PAN card, election voters card, Kavito informed. On the day of launching, DC Dimapur distributed rice to around 1,000 migrant workers. That's all we have time for in this edition of news broadcast. But before we leave you, here's a reminder that you can send in your videos at the WhatsApp number flashed below and be part of this venture of being a citizen journalist. Do let us know what's happening in your village, your locality, or your district, so that we can share your videos to the rest of the viewers watching this broadcast. Meanwhile, stay safe, practice self-health hygiene, and maintain social distancing wherever you are. But most importantly, take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching.